do not skip this video trust me do not skip if you clicked on this video you are trying to dribble better in nba 2k 21 next gen now in today's video i will be showing you the best settings for dribbling the best badges for dribbling the best takeovers for dribbling tips and tricks for dribbling and a full hand cam tutorial for dribbling with gameplay included and if you watch this video all the way through i can almost guarantee you that you will come out of this video a better dribbler in nba 2k 21 next gen and will learn new dribble moves that you didn't even know how to do before watching and if you have any questions about anything i go through this entire video make sure to dm me on twitter now don't forget to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's get straight into the tutorial let's get it what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double and i am back at it with yet another banger and in today's video i got a dribble tutorial before you guys now before we get into all the tips and tricks before we get into the animations the dribble tutorial and everything make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all if you use any dribble moves in this video go ahead drop a like for me down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new if you guys want to watch me do these dribble moves live on stream make sure to turn on notifications because i be streaming on youtube almost every single day this 500k grind is real but before we get into this video this is my record on the screen this is my park record as you can see i have three over 3,000 wins and about 300 losses that's about a 91 win percent so obviously i know what i'm doing with these drill moves i know how to win games with these drill moves and i really have a lot of experience on the nba 2k21 next gen but without further ado let's get straight into the drill moves man let's get it all right, before we get into anything, the first thing we're going to go over is the settings. So you're going to want to click start, go to option slash quit, and then you're going to want to go to controller settings. Now, you want to copy these exact settings. You're going to want to have these absolute settings. You're going to want to have all these settings copied right here for the pro stick functions. And the reason you want these on absolute is because let's say you're dribbling in the corner, maybe on the wing, you still do the same motions with your stick instead of doing it differently based on how you're facing the basket. So just make sure you guys have those settings exactly copied. And that's really it for the settings part. It's pretty easy. It's as simple as that. All right, next up, I'm going to show you guys the best playmaking badges the best angle breaker badges but before we get to that let's look at the takeovers okay this is a huge reminder especially for new people for next gen playmaking takeover does not break ankles this year okay there is only one takeover that does that and that is ankle breaker shots this takeover is extremely overpowered for ankle breakers if you do use it just look at this clip right here this dude <laughs> falling on his like come on bro like th this takeover goes crazy that's just one clip if you really use this takeover you can break ankles basically every single possession but anyways on to the badges now if you guys just want to see my other badges y'all can see them for a second you know this is my driving this is my six seven scoring machine by the way there's all my other badges but anyways we're gonna look at the playmaking badges okay now the most the two most important badges is hall of fame quick first step and hall of fame handles for days whether you can get those badges on hall of fame or not you you need to make sure those two badges are maxed those badges are the most important dribbling badges by far for obvious reasons you know what i'm saying and then the next one i would say unpluckable just make sure you have that at, at least on something you know some people like to run it on bronze whatever put it on something otherwise you're going to be getting ripped a lot okay now after that you have to make a decision depending on how many playing badges you have whether you want passing or ankle breaker badges. Now, bullet passer is almost a must. You can run special delivery if you want passing badges. Bailouts only needed on bronze. And then you can go with like needle threader or dimer or something like that. But how I do my playmaking badges is I do a little mixture of the two. Okay, so bullet passer is a must. I don't care what you have. You need to make sure bullet passer is maxed. Okay, what bullet passer does is it throws passers faster. And if you don't have that on, People can help on you and double team you and then get back to the other man on the twos court by the time the ball gets over there. Okay, right now, the other two really good um, ankle breaker badges is tight handles and ankle breaker. Space creator is not that good this year. Tight handles is the glitch. That badge is so overpowered. I swear it gives you so many ankle breakers for no reason. So, this is the setup right here. I would run bronze bailout, gold ankle breaker, Bro hall of fame, tight handles. And this is a good setup right here. Most builds only get gold ankle breaker, anyways. But yes, tight handles is very glitchy make sure you have all these badges on bullet pass are very important bronze bailout is needed at least unpluckables needed on something handles are days quick first step very important 
tie handles, and ankle burger. Those are the two badges that are going to give you a lot of ankle burgers. But anyways, let's move on to the next tip and tricks section. Okay, now it's time to give some tips and tricks. Now, there's no my court in NBA 2K21 Next Gen, so I'm going to show you guys spots around the city where you can practice your dribble moves, okay? Now, here's the first spot. There's things called garage courts, and they're located all around the map here are some locations for you guys and a lot of people can 1v1 on them you could 2v2 on them 3v3 on them you could do a bunch of stuff on these courts you can also practice the dribbling by yourself as you can see there's other courts located everywhere but you have to make sure you have to buy a basketball i think it's at one of the stores at the bottom of the map and then you equip the basketball and then just walk onto the court and boom you can practice your drill moves on any of these garage courts you can shoot around mess with jump shots mess with drill moves whatever you want to do right you can do one-on-ones two-on-twos you could do shootouts all that kind of stuff right there's other garage courts right here besides the north side knights one i think there's like four five something amount of garage courts it's whatever but as you can see if we look at the map there's you can also practice on just dead open park courts a lot of those are going to be the western wildcats they have a lot of dead courts usually but anyways there's also the black lives matter court this court is always wide open it's the 4v4 court this court is very reliable to um get dribble moves practicing in there's also a mamba court over by the beast and knights uh cities this court is even better for practicing no one is ever on this court it's a 5v five court so you can also practice your drill moves over there as you see look at this mambo court like this is such a w core a lot of people don't even know where this is in the city but yeah this is where the mambo court is at you can go ahead practice your drill moves on here basically anywhere where there's an empty court in the city you can practice your drill moves practice your jump shot dribble around do whatever now the last spot is the gatorade facility you can also rent courts in the gatorade facility that is in the middle of the map very useful place that you see you walk in you're gonna want to go to the back door where it says like rental courts upstairs or whatever you walk up the stairs and i'm pretty sure you have to spend vc but it's only like 20 vc like it's literally so cheap i'm about to show y'all right now so you walk down that um the hallway some of the sometimes these are all filled so that's why you have to go to the garage courts maybe go to the mama court the black lives matter court but as you can see i can rent this court 20 vc for 30 minutes 150 vc for four hours like very cheap stuff another tip make sure you guys buy gatorade that's also going to help you dribble a lot make it so you can dribble longer without losing energy make it so after you dribble you have enough energy to still shoot the ball etc etc but those are some big tips and tricks for you guys to practice the dribble moves now let's get into the actual dribble tutorial and all the animations and all that good stuff so here are my official dribble move animations dribble style we have lebron james signature size up we have russell westbrook that's the speed boost i'm going to show by the way i'm going to show a bunch of dribble moves you're going to need all these equipment equipped to be able to do them make sure you have nothing on park size up that's the little move it randomly gives you make sure you have nothing on that base up size up pass package pro one size up escape packages pro one now i don't have the curry slide on pro one is not the curry slide if you want a curry slide pro two but the pro one gives me this certain standing behind the back and this step back that i use all the time so i don't even use the curry slide so just keep that in mind moving crossover pro two moving behind the back pro three the moving spin is basic one. Basic one is the spin back that you can, like, it just, it's just the best spin bag. It's been the best spin bag at 20. This is definitely the best spin bag. This is the one that a lot of the dribble heads use. Moving Hesitation Pro 4. Moving Step Back Pro 8. A lot of people don't know about this moving step back, but it definitely goes crazy. It creates a lot of space. And I'm not gonna lie, it gives you a lot of ankle breakers too, especially if that ankle breaker takeover. And then normal triple, or then triple threat styles, normal seven. These are my drill moves. If you guys wanna copy them down, go ahead and do that. Pause the video, take a screenshot, do whatever you have to do. But now we're gonna get into the dribble tutorial with the controller and all that good stuff. All right, so we have a lot of drill moves to go over. So the first one is the spam crossover. All you're gonna wanna do is just flick your right stick from left to right. You can spam this. A lot of people do this. It might seem like a bot move, but it actually works pretty well because the crossovers are so fast that you don't know which way you go out of. And if you have Hall of Fame quick first step, this could be an easy way just to blow by people. Very simple moves. Like I said, a lot of moves that you're gonna see in today's videos are gonna be very simple. And a lot of moves are gonna be very advanced. And some moves you don't even knew, knew were possible, right? So the next move we have is the hesitation. Now, all you're gonna wanna do, if you're running to the right, you're gonna hold the right trigger, run to the right, and then flick the right stick to the right. And if you're going to the left, you're gonna be flicking the right stick to the left. Okay, now this is a very easy move. 
breaks a lot of ankle ankles if you have space crater and as you can see it's very effective especially if you're trying to fade if you like to fade a lot this hesitation is going to be very useful for you as people will not know after every hesitation whether you're going left or right and if you have hall of fame quick first step you're going to be speed boosting out of that very fast and it's going to be very hard to guard so this is a very useful move if you like to fade a lot now the next move we're going to go over is the moving step back the moving step back also breaks a lot of ankles very easy move to do all you're going to do is if you're running to the right you're going to hold the right trigger move, move the left stick to the right and then flick the right stick down same thing if you're going to the left except you're going to move your left stick to the left obviously so all you have to do hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down very easy move to do honestly this is just like the hesitation probably a little less effective i'd say but if you like to you know if you're not much of a fader you like to drive maybe break a little more ankles then this might be a little more effective move for you definitely a very easy move to do another move that you could finesse a lot of people with on the 1v1 core as well now the next move is the moving behind the back now if you're trying to do the moving behind the back to the left all you have to do is hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down diagonally left and if you're trying to go to the right you would flick the right stick diagonally right of course while you're moving your left stick to whichever way you're running to this move is very good if you try to fade as well very effective move on iso very fast move a lot of people do not be using this move i don't know why i don't see this move a lot i don't really see people dribbling a lot unless they're doing the curry slide and this is why this video is going to be very helpful for you guys but a lot of people jump at these you know you can spam this back and forth it's a very effective move and a move that i really like and you have to have that escape that i told you about with the step back that doesn't give you the curry slide to be able to do this specific behind the back now the next moves we're going to show you guys is a bunch of moves that you do while attacking the basket this one is the one i like to call the behind the back going to the rim or whatever so if you're running to the rim hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down diagonally left and if the ball is in your left hand you would flick the uh right stick diagonally right okay now this move is very good you can also do like a between the leg or a simple crossover sometimes but the behind the back gives you this big speed burst right to the basket and it's very effective when driving to the basket especially when you're isoing on the twos because it makes it to where they can't rotate and the other defender can't get there fast enough enough to help and if they do help that means they helped hella early it's gonna be an easy pass out this move has been in the game for years now very easy move and even if you want to do a simple between the legs that's pretty effective as well if you're trying to rim run or you're trying to get to the basket more efficiently a move that i like to use a lot when i'm isolating on the twos now the next move is this basic one spin back now let's say you have the ball in your left hand you're running um to the left you're going to move your right stick um die you're gonna rotate it counterclockwise all the way from 12 to six o'clock now if the ball is in your right hand and you're running to the rim you're gonna rotate it clockwise clockwise from 12 to six o'clock now this move is very effective i do this move a lot and sometimes it gives you different spins but either way like people never expect this and if they're pressing you this is a very good way to create space for three pointers very good way to create space for drives honestly this move is really unguardable in my opinion especially if the defender is giving you even an inch of space to start your iso like i don't know i really like to spam this move and this move doesn't even take away that much energy when you do it so that's why it's like very easy to spam and once you get used to it it's really not a hard move to master like the spin back is very easy it just takes a lot of patience especially after you do the spin back if you want to shoot off of it now this move is one of the other moves that you need to not have the curry slide for you need that pro escape that i was talking about it's just the standing behind the back so how you would usually do the curry slide right you hold the right trigger and then you hold the right stick down diagonally left or diagonally down right depending on which hand the ball is in this move is actually it looks like it doesn't do anything but this move is very unpredictable in game look at this right here this dude just completely got lost when i did it look at this dude creates it creates so much space bro because nobody has this move so nobody expects this this move probably is the move that creates the most space out of any of the moves i will be showing today which is actually very surprising i know it looks like it looks like it really can't do much but i'm telling you right now this move creates hella space now the next move is going to be the russell westbrook size that i was talking about now all you're going to want to do for this move is hold the right stick up 
and hold the right trigger and right when the move starts you just want to run out of it okay now if you guys remember the speed boost glitch from 2k21 current gen this is the closest thing to it now you can hold the right stick as long as you want but when you run out of the size up that's when the speed boost starts so it's most effective if you do it almost right as the russell westbrook size up um cues and starts you know going you know what i'm saying this move is very good honestly you could probably just learn this move and just spam this all day on the twos and that's all the, the only move you would need to win to be honest now the next move is the most the move that i've been asked about the most this step back the pro the pro one of the size of escape whatever i was talking about earlier this is the move that i equipped instead of having the curry slide i chose this move instead of having the curry slide and all you want to do is hold the right trigger and then hit the right stick down that's all you want to do that's all you have to do now you can't spam it unless you do a crossover in between it but this move is the move that i did on the one v one court in 2k20 this move is so good and nobody uses it because if you have the curry side equipped you can't do this move and everyone spams curry side so nobody has this move which means nobody knows how to guard this move making this move all the more effective now we're going to talk about quick stopping quick stopping is very hard in next gen it takes a lot of patience a lot of i don't know practice but there's two ways to quick stop one is let's say you're running all the way to the right you're gonna flick the right stick while holding the right trigger and as soon as your player starts to move that ball up you just hold x okay this is one way to do it now obviously if you're running to the left or the right all you do is hold the right trigger and flick the right stick up that's all you do and as soon as your player does that little when he like drags his foot that's as soon as you hold x this is not as effective as the other quick stop i'm about to show you the other quick stop is also very good but this quick stop is pretty good too now this one let's say you're running to the right you're gonna hold the right trigger and then flick the right right stick to the left if you're running to the left hold the right trigger and flick the right stick to the right then you're just you can just spam this right here right now there's a way to quick stop out of this though so let's say you're going to the right as soon as that animation starts you're gonna want to hold x now sometimes it gives you a late animation but that animation right there that's the one we're looking for that's probably the fastest quick stop you can do right here look at that look at how fast that was it might not seem as fast compared to old 2ks but this is the fastest one in next gen this is the fastest way to quick stop in nba 2k 21 next gen definitely effective uh, since a lot of people can't really do this i'm not a, like i said in the last move not a lot of people are used to guarding it because nobody does it nobody does this move on next gen so when i pull this out of my arsenal nobody's you know they don't know how to guard it right now obviously you can take all these moves combo them up do whatever just like i do on the twos but i would say just practice each move until you start doing that you know you can rewind the video pause ask me questions whatever if you have any questions ask in the comment section maybe look for some answers in the comment section dm me on twitter if you have any questions but these are all the drill moves i use these are the drill moves that you guys have been asking to learn from me now if these drill moves are too advanced for you or they're not advanced advanced enough i'm sorry but these are the drill moves that my supporters have been asking for and everybody in my streams asked me for so i decided to give it to you guys today now if this video helped you guys out at all make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i'm so excited to continue this legend grind for you guys elite four is almost here i appreciate everybody that watched this video and let me know how the drill moves work for you guys down below and let me know are you guys gonna pick this step back or the curry side i want to know because i feel like i'm one of the only people in the game that actually takes this move over the curry slide but anyways guys appreciate y'all coming through it's been your boy henry ak double hdf and i'm out y'all